Uh, kia ora tato te whanau. welcome to uh, the first inaugural, first ever episode of Me Pātau Mai. So welcome Fano. Um, I'm really excited to be sharing some excellent, excellent questions that have come to me from around the community, around the country, uh, from people that are interested to know more about uh, what we're going through. Okay, now these questions may be related to uh, uh, to COVID-19 or they may be related to general other, other general health questions that may be uh, just a part of, you know, uh, of their general life but things at the moment are making those issues harder now if you hear a, a noise in the background it's my dryer it's my dryer working because um this is a this is life right i'm just doing this from my my kitchen my my dining room so i want to give you a, a a question here that's been sent to me from mori rapihana i hope you guys don't mind me shout, doing a shout out but mori from from up north he's uh, sent me a question about uh, some some discussion and some uh, information circulating around the possibility of some medications causing problems in COVID-19, okay? Uh, there's a, a question has been raised about this medication called ibuprofen, which is an anti-inflammatory commonly known as Nurofen or Brufen. Um, and the question here from Muri is that he's received something through Facebook saying there's an association that if you take uh, ibuprofen, that you have a greater risk of poor outcome of having COVID, and i.e., you get you're more likely to get sick. Now, this is a a, a discussion I've heard also that's been happening in the medical circles, and the my my feedback to you is that from what as I understand it, it is best that if you're on that medication we avoid it at the moment. Now the reason, I'm not saying that this is 100% legit that this uh, medication can cause poorer outcomes if you get COVID, but there's a couple of medications that are being associated with poorer outcomes with COVID-19. Now, because ibuprofen is not a critical medication, okay, there's, it's not life um, saving or life threatening, uh, well, it's not life saving, okay? It's, it's something that you, you don't need to have to live. My advice, even though we're not 100% certain, is that is something you could easily eliminate from your, um, you, if you're a user of those of that medication. There are a number of, a number of other medications that I'm gonna talk about over the next few days that are actually showing quite a level of concern. And uh, I, wanna, I wanna give them their own time. But for the first question by Muri today, which is, hey bro, ibuprofen, I use it now and then, uh, should I be worried? My answer would be, at the moment we're not certain, but there could be an association that I would say it is the value of taking it is gonna be outweighed by the unknown risk of, of it causing greater harm. So, yeah bro, to Muri, uh, let's just give that a pass at the moment. So the, the next question is, uh, people will say is, okay, well if I can't take that and I really need to take something for my pain, because that's an anti-inflammatory, what can I take? Look, what, what is probably very safe is paracetamol doesn't look to have, uh, it's, it's a pretty safe medication and you could take that in the first instance. Look, if it, if it was a medication that if you didn't have you know, ibuprofen, you're in immense pain and just can't get around, and that's not common to be honest, to have that sort of condition, <clears throat> then you know, maybe it's something that you can talk to your doctor about. If you can't get hold of them, I'm happy to receive a message uh, through this YouTube channel and we can discuss that also. But at this stage, I'd say 95% of people could do without that. Um, and it's, it's unclear as to whether there is that true association, but at least there's no harm in stopping that. In the next few days, I'm gonna start talking about some medications that are quite, very, very important that we need to look at. I'm gonna do a bit more um, digging and research on that to ensure that I've got some of my facts right. Keeping in mind that not all of this is evidence-based, keeping in mind that not all of this is proven, is just some assumptions, and I'm trying to weigh up the assumption of you know like a theory or a hypothesis versus the you know how, how you know what information do we put out in the community and I think at this stage uh, on this you know some of these medications will be hey look we've got some assumptions we've got no real evidence to prove it but look there's no value there's no nothing lost if we just say hold off taking these medications at this stage 
um, because you know it's not going to cause any harm. So, Mori, thank you for your um, your your message. I hope that's been of use to you, and I hope and believe it will be of use to other people. Kapoi, me partai mai.